Good morning guys, I'm just trying to make sure my lighting's okay. I'm hoping I'm not too washed out. I'm filming in my bedroom first thing in the morning and I don't usually film this time of day in here because there's so much like white morning light and it can wash you out a bit. And I also have no fake tan on. So I'm kind of like living my best Casper the friendly ghost life right now, but hopefully it looks okay on your end. Um, today's video is super exciting because we're doing some hair care related content today. And I'm actually partnering with a brand called Scavola and I'm testing out their Go Care hair smoothening treatment. So this is essentially the equivalent of an in salon keratin treatment, but it's a fraction of the cost and it's something you can do yourself. So it's like a DIY at home hair keratin treatment. It's apparently loaded with like silk proteins and coconut oils, and it can really help defrizz your hair and just smoothen it and make it feel like super silky and smooth and shiny. And I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that the results last for up to three months. So like you do it once and then you actually experience results and the benefit of like silky smooth soft hair for up to three months afterwards and then you can do it again. So I like the idea of that because I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to hair treatments. I probably don't treat my hair as often as I should and being a bleach blonde. This also apparently does have toning um, properties to it. So if you're a bleach blonde or a natural blonde, um, you guys will notice that it will tone your hair. Um, I personally am an ashy blonde, grey blonde type of girl. I don't really like yellow or golden blondes. And I made a point to not tone my hair for the last two weeks just so that I didn't overtone it too much. Um, apparently, the longer you leave it, the more of an ashy undertone you get. So you can leave it anywhere between, I think, 20 and 40 minutes. The less you leave it, the less, less toned it'll be. The more you leave it, um, the more toned it'll be. And then if you don't have blonde hair, you don't have to worry because you're not going to get toned hair because, yeah, <laughs> that is how it works. You get a little instruction manual, as you guys can see there, and it's a six-step process. So inside your little GoCare box, you have two products and also some instructions. So you have a deep cleansing shampoo and also the actual treatment. Super simple instructions. So you just get one little brochure. It's not like you've got to do 20,000 steps. You've just got six steps there. So it says, first off, you've got to wash your hair with the GoCare deep cleansing shampoo, massage into a lather and rinse thoroughly. Repeat two to three times until hair is completely clean. So that is the deep cleansing shampoo. So then step two, dry hair completely and divide into four to six parts. Using a brush, apply the GoCare smoothening treatment section by section, starting from the back of the head. And then on their website, they do also sell the little bowl and brush set. So I've got that here. So that's really handy. So they've got the bowl and also the comb and sectioning thingamajoobie. So you can section your hair off. You've got the comb on this end, you've got the brush to apply the product on this end. So you'll pop the treatment in this bowl and yeah, Bob's your uncle. So then it says to leave the product on the hair for 30 minutes and rinse thoroughly until water runs clear. Then it says dry hair completely and divide into four to six parts again and apply a flat iron seven to 10 times from the roots to the tips make sure the sections are thin. And then it gives you a temperature guide depending on your hair, if you're a bleach blonde, if you're a brunette, if you've got thin hair, if you've got thick hair. So nice, simple, easy to read instructions, which I appreciate. All right, guys, so I'm going to go and start step one, wash my hair, so I will be right back. So now I'm just going to blow dry my hair because that's what the instructions call. So shampoo, then blow dry. So let's get into that. So there you have it guys, a little bit like Hagrid. Hagrid hair when it's not straightened. So typically what I would do um, is just like straighten and live in daylights out of my hair um, to get it nice and smooth. But this is what it looks like when it's been blow dried. So as you guys can see in particular at the ends is where it woofs out a lot and where it's like really dry and like frizzy because obviously the ends of your hair are like the oldest so they've probably had the most damage done to it. So yeah. Okay, so now I've got nice dry hair. Um, it says section into four to six parts and then using the brush apply the GoCare smoothening treatment section by section and start from the back of the head. <laughs> doing, 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 doing with my crazy buns. I'm just going to quickly put on an old t-shirt so I don't ruin my little robe of BRB. We do also have some gloves that come with the actual treatment. So I'm just gonna put those on. Oh, oh, whoa. It is now time for step two, as you guys can see. It is very like purple blue color. Ooh. 
I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna start applying it at the root and just like dragging it through my hair. kind of hard doing this on camera so I'm just going to go off and just continue doing this through the entirety of my hair and just like keep blending it all down and then I'll check back in with you guys once I'm all done okay guys so I've got that all in my hair um, I found it a little bit hard to sort of comb the product from my root straight through to my tips so I did end up putting a bit of it just in my gloves and then rubbing it right through the ends of my hair as you guys can see from the color it makes sense that being a blonde that this would make your hair a little bit ashy to start with and really tone it and um, one other thing I really noticed with this when I was applying it it doesn't have any strong like chemical scent it actually smells really pleasant um, I was expecting it to smell like hella chemically and really get up my nose and irritate my eyes and you guys know I have really sensitive eyes so things like really strong fumes can irritate them and they feel good like it's not bothering my eyes at all it's not bothering my nostrils I've seen a few videos of people like on Instagram getting keratin hair treatments and like the shit literally smokes like it's scary this did not do that so that's good so you guys don't have to worry about anything scary any crazy chemical scents when you use it so I'm happy about that so I'm going to set the timer and leave this on my hair for half an hour and then I shall wash it out and we'll see what my hair looks like I'm excited it has been 30 minutes so I left it on for the full 30 minutes um, because like I said in the intro I personally like really ashy hair so they do suggest if you don't want really ashy hair you only leave it on for 20 minutes but for me I'm an ash queen. I actually love purple hair. I kind of like, I'm looking at my hair like this and I'm like, I want to dye my hair purple again. Um, so I'm leaving in for the full 30 minutes, but it just says to rinse thoroughly underwater until the water runs clear. It doesn't say to condition or anything like that. So I'm going to go and wash it all out and um, yeah, come back and then blow dry it and we'll see how it looks. I'm so excited. So I have the hiccups really bad and I've tried to record this bit like a million times but I keep hiccuping right in the middle of it. But what I was trying to say is that as soon as I got in the shower and started rinsing my hair, my hair just felt... So we haven't even done the final step in the actual treatment because straightening is what actually locks in the smoothing properties. But I just feel like just like after it's blow dried alone, it's already so much less frizzy. But like the actual hair strands are so much smoother. And like my hair is so shiny. It did definitely grab onto a little bit of the purple in like the front bit of my hair. But when I purple shampoo it myself, like to tone it with other products, it usually does grab in those areas. Um, but a after one more wash, it'll probably like come out and it'll be all even then. But yeah, it feels so soft. It was really easy to blow dry too. Like I just feel like my brush just like glided through my hair so nicely like it wasn't knotty even when it was wet and that's another thing too when I was in the shower as soon as the water hit my hair and I started like washing out the actual um product the solution I could just feel how soft my wet hair was as well so I'm excited to start straightening so straightening is our final step and you've got to be really particular with the straightening as well it says that you need to flat iron seven to ten times from the roots to the tips and you've got to make sure you use really thin sections because this is going to lock in the smoothening treatment. So let's get the straightener on and start straightening our hair.
God, it's so soft. Just be careful not to burn yourself on your hair as well, guys, because going over this many times makes your hair like hella hot. Look at how like shiny it looks. Wow. Oh, wow. It is like so smooth. Okay, guys, so that is the treatment all finished. That took about two and a half hours from start to finish. So it's definitely a bit of a lengthy process because of the washing and blow drying that you've got to do. That's what took the longest. I think it only took me like 20 minutes to actually get it all on my head when I was applying the actual step two of the treatment process, the purple, the actual smoothing treatment. So yeah, I didn't think that was too bad. And um, the results, oh, my hair has never felt this smooth. Like honestly, like, this is the smoothest it's ever been. So I'm excited to see how long the, the texture of my hair stays like this. So they do say with the first wash after using the treatment that you should use their shampoo and also their deep hydration mask. So I will leave my hair for about three days and then I'll wash it with these ones and I'll check back in with you guys and let you know how it's feeling, let you know how the mask went and everything. But um, yeah, based on like first round, freaking obsessed. I really love how my hair feels. It feels so good. Like it's just, it's that soft that I just want to keep stroking it. And I don't think I've ever had that sensation with my hair before. Like the ends too. Like it's not even just this top bit because usually up here is all right with my hair. It's usually the ends that are really crusty and like they are so like silky and like soft and non fly away and like just glowy. Like look at the shine. Look at the shine in my hair, oh my gosh. My hair definitely does have a purple tinge in certain light, but um, I think one or two washes and that should wash out. Personally, I really like the purple tinge, so I wouldn't mind if it didn't wash out. Stop, I can't deal. Anyway, I'm gonna go about my day. I'll check back in with you guys in about three days to let you know how these other products go and yeah, to keep you posted on the actual overall texture of my hair. So I am back with my final check-in. It's actually, two weeks since I did the treatment. I was meant to check back in at the first wash, but we had an emergency phone call disregarding my grandma. So we had to travel interstate like at the drop of a hat. And yeah, I've had a really full on two weeks, but I'm back home now and I've been using my Go Care shampoo and conditioner and deep hydration mask. I actually did pack this with me when I went away. So when I was in Victoria, I did actually shampoo my hair for the first time and use the hydrating mask after, like the first time after the treatment. And I'm so glad that I managed to get the treatment done before we had that phone call because one thing that I noticed ever since I've done that treatment is the blow drying time of my hair has been cut in half and I don't even need to run the straightener through it unless I really want to like flatten my hair out. So I feel like with just blow drying it, my hair feels a lot softer and smoother and it does blow dry a lot straighter, um, but it still maintains a fair bit of volume. So if I just want to have super sleek hair, then I still run the straightener over it a little bit, but nothing like what I used to do before. Like I would straighten my hair for a good 15 minutes before and now it's like five minutes just running over the ends. And the other thing I've noticed too is in between washes, I don't have to heat style. So previously I'd wash my hair and I usually wouldn't wash it again for another four days. But every day in between washes, I'd have to straighten my hair. And I haven't had to do that ever since I did the Go Care treatment. So it's saving me a lot of time and it's also reducing a lot of the heat that I'm having to apply to my hair. So therefore, I think that's going to really help with like the quality of my hair in the future. And I also feel like my flyaways are a lot more reduced. Usually I have a fair bit of flyaways around my part just because I am a bleach blonde. So I do get breakage because of that, but it has improved so much ever since I did the treatment and with the conjunction of the shampoo and conditioner and also the deep hydration mask. I'm like one of those people where like I already touch my hair a lot as it is. And ever since I've done this treatment, I just touch it 10 times more. It's so annoying, but my hair is so like glossy and like soft, like, oh, 
like look at how it's catching that light. I don't think I've ever seen my hair this shiny before. So, you know, obviously you guys can tell based off first impressions, I'm pretty obsessed. I'm definitely going to do the treatment again in a couple of months and keep using the shampoo and conditioner and the treatment because it just makes my hair feel so amazing. So if you guys are curious about it, I'll leave some links in the description box for you to check out so you can shop the product yourselves. If you enjoyed the video, please do give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, pop them in the comment section and I will get back to you. And yeah, thanks so much for watching to the very end and I'll be talking to you all really soon. Bye.